nice day out yesterday. We we won the team category, but we didn't win overall. And it's nice to win the last stage overall. It was a good weekend out, proper racing. Um, I was thinking to myself as we were coming down the final descent, this is definitely one of the hardest three-day stage races that, that I've done in terms of climbing. Um, definitely a lot of the most climbing that we've done in three days on a, on a race. If you have to compare to other big races like Sony, even Tanqua Trek. Um, the racing went well, I mean we had a good weekend, good final prep for Epic. Um, I think myself and Arjun we were riding together very well at this stage. Um, everything is lining up very well for, for what's, what's to come in the, in the near future. We're happy with the result, I mean at least we could win two stages and get second overall, so um, all smiles at the end. Yeah, it's just a fantastic three days. Um, I think anybody looking to get some last minute uh, Cape Epic preparation in or anybody who just wants to come down to uh, Neisner and experience the fantastic trails and the awesome hospitality that the race puts on, it's uh, fantastic to, uh, to be a part of it and uh, I'll definitely put it on the bucket list of uh, three day stage races to do, that's for sure. But it was a good day and I have a good feeling now. And yeah, I'm happy. I have a so good partner for the Cape Epic, and it was very funny with him to ride here in the Neisner 300. And now let's see what some two weeks we can do. Amazing riding, um, and the first win for Sassel, so we're very chuffed with ourselves. Um, yeah, we, we rode very well. Fantastic trails, like beautiful forest and stuff, so yeah, enjoyed it. Um, it was fast the whole way. We never slowed down once. Um, I don't think anyone passed us. Your lady just kept the pace like from start to finish. So um, it's different racing. Normally you start out quite fast and then you chill out. But this this route is just fast the whole way, which is very cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was um, yeah, it's a solid three days. We had no big any issues really. The course was really good. It was muddy the first day and then um, the next two days has been perfect conditions really. Um, we've had some good, uh, good strong, the last couple of days were, 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 were good for us. Um, yeah, and, and fantastic event. It was, a, it was a really good experience to come here to Eisenhower and do the Garden Route 300. Last time I was here, 2008, long time ago. Today I actually remembered parts of the, of the route from, from the Epic when I, when I, went, I was there. Um, yeah, all in all, it was a great experience. It's a great event, and uh, I think it has still potential to grow bigger. And it was a little bit sad that we had so much rain on the first day, because the trails would have been more, much more enjoyable. But like today, when you look around, when you're on top of the mountains, you see the scenery. It's just, yeah, it's just amazing. It's a good. It's really a good package. The Garden 300 came up with this brilliant idea on stage three of the three days. It was a hilltop finish on. Phantom Pass. It was about a 3k climb, 10k's into the race. They put up 10,000 rand, and then uh, it made the racing super interesting from the gun. I mean, 10,000 rand is is a lot of money for like 10 minutes worth of work. So we uh, we neutralized the start for about five kilometers, and then they let the race go. And it was super hard from the word go. Everyone was just going flat out, and then. Some guys attacked at the bottom, and then there was about a group of four guys that rode uh, the gap closed. And we, as we caught them, I just decided, well, it's a good time to go. And I just accelerated at my own pace, and then I stayed away to the top. I mean, it was not that much fun for the eight or ten minutes I lasted, but I'm, I'm really happy to take them in today. And from there, the stage was actually super chill. No one was really racing, everyone was talking and having fun. So it was a good last day to a brilliant three days of racing in Eisner. From our side, uh, Craft 2015, after four years, this year has been another fantastic one. Number five, Craft coming on board in such a massive way, treating riders to really awesome gifts in their registration packs. Fantastic Craft uh, finisher shirts. Um, Oakley as well, a really premium brand, making a difference to the, the race village and uh, also sponsoring the GR Light category which has been a new introduction where riders every day have had a slightly shorter route but riding um, from the start to the end the same and uh, yes just a, a detour uh, making it slightly shorter. Riders this year were quite challenged with the weather. Um, on Friday we had rain pouring down. We started in a bucket of water and uh, with lots of single track through the indigenous we're quite uh, lucky in Nasna because the indigenous really works well with rain. Uh, water washes away 
Riders came back muddy but uh, were smiling and enjoyed it. It wasn't too slippery, it wasn't too dangerous. The second day, our climbing stage, uh, riders left in the sun, came back in the sun. We had some, uh, we had no incidences, uh, excepting for the elephants that moved the signage the evening before. But uh, that obviously only created a lot more excitement and uh, just the, the confidence that we live in a real wilderness, a beautiful place. Day three, behind us finishing now. Um, we're glad that it's been a success and again just a huge thanks to the So for me the absolute highlights of this weekend has been the craft attack this morning. It was amazing. 10,000 bucks up for grabs and obviously the guys are all seriously hungry to win this thing. So we had a neutral zone along the Niza Lagoon. The day was just perfect and it was goosebumps watching them race. So we stopped them all for a minute and then like let the rope down and they just raced. I was like watching the most exciting horse ride racing thing I've ever seen in my life. They, the Contigo boys raced in tandem and um, with Lawrence and, and, and Adrian taking the lead and then Craig boys from Team Azrin took over and then as we round like the second last corner Timo was in the lead and he timed it just perfectly and I got to the top he was frothing at the mouth and it was amazing but he took it completely.